Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. If you're new around here, happy new year to you all. This is my first video of 2024, which is so exciting. And it is one of my favorite videos to do actually. It's like our undecorate with us type of video and my goals and intentions. So I thought I'd talk you through some of my goals for 2024, my intentions, and also tidy up the decorations. I've absolutely loved having the decorations down. They're so pretty. So yeah, I already can't wait to put them back up um, in the November next year because you know what I'm like I'm nice and early so I talk you through some of my goals and also show you some nice ways to get yourself organized so if you're like me and you like to see things you're a visual person then I have got a real treat for you today so I'm working with HP and their printables and we have got some really great printables to show you today so I've got one for my actual day so I've got this one here which I printed off earlier and it's got like today's agenda on it so I'm gonna write this out with you in a second Second, and we can go through the printable which is just so good they've got so many on there so if you like to get yourself organized and you like to get yourself motivated then they've got some really great printables on there i also have gone for a written goals this year so we've got a goal planner short and long term goals i've got two sheets in here and we're going to go through those today as well and i can kind of talk you through my goals for the new year. I've had a HP printer for absolute years now. They're just very handy. They came in very handy when we had lockdown, printing all of the boys' homework and things like that. And they come in really handy now when I'm printing off things like briefs and my everyday kind of bits and bobs are very quick and easy to do. And I also like to print off pictures and prints. I always download prints and um, print them out and then frame them. And they're just very quick and easy to do. So I absolutely love my printer for a start, but I love that they've got all of these different printables so you can do like coloring on there they've got little coloring pages if you're lacking ideas on what to do on a rainy day with the kids you can go print some of those off but if you're like me and you want to get motivated for the new year then there are loads of things on there we've got planners goal setting sheets you've got lists and all sorts so with hp printables it's a complimentary service you've also got birthday cards like i said learning worksheets coloring pages and you can effortlessly print download and share these so they're already pre-formatted you can do crafting and all of that kind of stuff and also i have been subscribed to hp instant ink for about probably four years now it's a brilliant service so basically the printer will know when the ink is running out and it will like alert the instant ink service and it will send it out whenever you need new ink so you never have to go to the shops you never have to run out of ink it is brilliant so absolutely love that service as well so the focus of the day so on my on my form here we've got the focus of the day and that is to of course take the christmas decorations down and then here we've got the actual to-do list so first of all we're going to obviously take the decorations down then we're going to box them up put them in the loft clean and then have a much needed cuppa You've also got a little ideas section here, which is really cute. Note section, so if there's anything I need to remember today, then I can write them in the notes here. And then we've got the all important water intake. I don't know about you, but my new year's resolution is always to drink more water. So we've got this little chart down here that's going to remind me to drink my water, which I think is super handy. So we've got that one at the ready there. The next thing I wanted to talk about before we get into the cleaning and tidying today is of course my goals for 2024. How cute is this little goal sheet, by the way? It's so colorful and fun love that so i've got those two sheets there to do so we've got here goals to hit in the next three months to hit in the next six months and then goals to hit in the next 12 months and three years so this is quite a good one because you can kind of really think ahead if you want to and then you've got your short-term goals as well i'm going to do this as a quick fire round basically of the kind of things that i want to do in this year the first thing i would like to do more of actually so i'm going to say this is the goals for the next three months because i'd like to get this organized nice and early and that is to get on top of our like bills and our outgoings because sometimes i find that when i'm looking for my bank statements i'm like what is that payment going out and you're just paying for something random like some random subscription i want to go through all of that fine tune them and get rid of anything that i don't need so that is my first goal i'm going to skip actually to the goals to hit in the next 12 months and that is going to be my hair journey 2.0 because as you know i've been on a journey for this past year my hair is feeling great looking great but i still want to get it perfected and i feel like this is a journey that's going to be ongoing for a little while so hair journey 2.0 
we're working on it in 2024. Goals to hit in the next six months. I would like to do some house updates within the first part of the year. Not sure quite what that is yet. We need to go through everything. Maybe I'll do an updated video on that. Let me know if you would like to see a kind of house plans for 2024 video. I can definitely do that for you. But within the first six months, I'd definitely like to see some changes and some things happening with our home. A goal I'd like to hit within the next three months is to get some more walking done because I feel like this time of the year, I definitely don't get out as much as I do when I'm in the spring and in the summer so I feel like I need to get my body moving a little bit more so definitely walking more within the next three months and then hopefully for the rest of the year. I'm going to skip again to the goals to hit in the next 12 months. I'm going to say the 12 month one because it's going to take 12 months to do and that is my teeth journey. Now this is teeth journey 3.0 because I this is my third time going through like a braces kind of treatment. So I'm starting my Invisalign um, next week, which is very exciting, a little bit nerve wracking, but yeah, teeth journey 3.0. I have the perfect smile at the end of the year. So very excited about that. Another one for goals to hit in the next three months is that I would like to be more organized when, when planning trips. So as a family of five, I do, sorry, is that TV? flashing hold on as a family of five i do find it quite hard to book trips last minute sometimes you get a great deal and other times the the deals just don't don't come for you because we're a family of five we often need either somewhere with like interconnecting rooms which often get booked up really really quickly or um, we need one room big enough for the whole family and it's just really tricky to find whether you're going on like a UK trip or going abroad. I'm gonna pop that into the goals to hit for the next three months. I would like to get some bits booked nice and early so I can like look forward to it with the kids and I don't have to stress about it later on or last minute. So I'm gonna be more organized with the trips this year. And then another one for goals to hit within the next six months is I'd like to kind of focus on my gut health a little bit more and maybe go for or get one of those intolerance tests done. I know you can do them online. Let me know if you've done any, any of those before um, and what you'd recommend. But I know there's definitely certain foods and things that I eat that do trigger me and I don't know specifically what it is. So I would like to know a little bit more about that and kind of my internal health. So gut health is something to focus on within the like first six months of the year. Okay, and then goals to hit in the next three years. There's only one real like main goal for me when it comes to the house, that's the main thing that I can think about. And that is to get the kitchen renovation done within the next three years. I feel like that is like a, a doable one. Um, I thought it would already be done by now, like when we moved into this house, but can you believe we've been in here three years already? When we moved in, I was like, yeah, in the next couple of years, we'll have that done. But honestly, you can't rush these things. And I feel like we need to give ourselves even more time to make sure it's kind of how we want it and plan it out properly. So in the next three years, I'd like to have our kitchen renovation done. Okay, so that one is all filled out now. How nice is that to have it all organized? I also think it's really nice to have like a visual that you can kind of look back on as well. So you can put this, if you've got like an office or somewhere you can kind of stick it up on the board and then have a little look back at it and tick things off as you get them done I think that's always really really nice and super motivating the next thing we've got here is the goal tracker so what I can do here is I can kind of write down the goals and as I kind of tick them off I can write them down here and there's also like a little calendar here so if I want any kind of short-term goals ticked off then I can write them on here as well so yeah really exciting can't wait to get that done but today's job today's goal is to get the house de -Christmased. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get into it and let's start taking the Christmas decorations down. Right, on the list, it says to buy extra boxes for our decorations. So Mark has been out and he's got us some new boxes because we just needed, we had a couple that were already like broken. So we've got rid of those. This is how the living room is currently looking. We need to de -Christmas it. We need to find a home for all of these pieces and yeah, get the tree down. So we've nearly got all of the baubles off, but we're left with just the glass ones. Mark's just bought some bubble wrap. So I'm gonna bubble wrap these and then place them on the top of this box, but 
That's quite good because these are all organised now for next year. That's good, yeah. These are all plastic anyway, so they're all fine. We're going to label this one. Yes, I'll label it in a second. Lounge tree. Mark and Vinny have taken down the tree. We just need to kind of de-fluff it, don't we? Make it small so it can go in the bag. And I just need to take down the garland. But what I'm thinking is, do you think I should just, if I can get your help a little bit, we can try and take it down in one piece. So then I haven't got to redo this so much next year. Because I actually like how it looks. So we just like fold it in half. Where's the box and tree? It goes in a bag. Box, okay. in the box. It came in a box, you got rid of the box. Yeah, I remember that. So we need to defluff it. There's a lot of tree here, isn't there? And a lot of Ragnar. Ragnar's in there somewhere. We found the Balsam Hill bag. I just can't believe it's going to fit in there. Yeah, but it does go quite wide, look. It is quite a big wide thing. All right, we managed it. We got the tree in the box. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a rigmarole, but we did it. It's actually quite a big bag, like, to fit that tree in, isn't it? We're nearly done here. Let's do this, um... Oh, we're chucking that in there? We're going to put that in there, yeah, and the garment from the stairs in there. Oh, nice. This is actually on its own little thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh garland, you've been great. Right then, so yeah, if we could just hold it... Yeah. We just chuck it in here. Again, is this another one that we can probably keep attached like this? Yeah. Rather than having to redo really this next year. This is going to come down to get ready oh, okay. to capture it. Okay. Oh, unless you come down with me, yeah. yeah. Done it! This is much better. So this is the stair garland. We've done it all in one piece, really. We just need to take the batteries out of the lights. Okay. We're good. Mark's loving the label machine, aren't you? Yeah, because we use it all the time. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Where do you use them? Everywhere. Do you? Yeah. Do you know how to use them then? Yeah. You haven't got one of them at work. Not that one. Exactly that one. No way. Yeah. You didn't know how to print it though. I was one, yeah. <laughs> You're a liar. We do You're a liar. <laughs> no, we use them all the time. Anyway, we're just taping the boxes up just to keep them extra secure because when we take them out of the loft, it's a bit, you know. Bit heavy. Bit heavy. Well, yeah. So we're just labelling the boxes so we know which room they need to be put into next year. Just making it a little bit more easier for us next year. And we're definitely going to bring the boxes down earlier, aren't we? I think before Be Halloween. Funny. No, Not before Halloween. Well, yeah, because we've got Halloween boxes up there. 
Oh, right. We've only got one, actually, so you need to put that at the front yeah. of the loft, if possible. Always looking really bare now. Look at that. Looks so, like, bright. Man. Looks lovely. So I need to think of what to put up here again. I can't even remember what I had there now. But the stairs are all clear now. All I need to do, really, is give it a little hoover and a wipe down. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, so the living room is all done now and it's just looking much clearer and I don't think I've actually spoken to you about our new coffee table. I mentioned that we were getting a new coffee table. This is so gorgeous, isn't it? I still need to get some bits or like to style it up, but I think this looks nice for now. I've put this little candle on here, which is from Lights for Fun and it's just a faux candle, but it's just very nice. Adds a little glow because we still want it to be nice and cozy in here, don't we? So yeah, this is the new coffee table from Still and Bloom and I am just so in love with it. It's so lovely. I think it goes really well with the rest of our decor in here. It goes well with that little stool over there as well. They kind of match, don't they? And also with the bench that Mark and I made last year, which is this one over here. They're quite a similar colour. They've got that antique goldy look to it, which I think looks so nice. So yeah, that is our new coffee table from still and bloom it's a display coffee table so it's also got um, a little shelf at the bottom which is so nice as well so i can put like a little basket under there with some bits in it um but yeah that's the new coffee table order has been restored i've left these two cushions out only because i need to get some new cushion covers for those so i've left them out looks fine looks pretty but that is the room all tidy i still have some bits on this table that i need to put away um but my list has come along nicely the next thing i need to do is to make a cuppa and we're done for the day i'll show you out here as well we've already done upstairs so that is all lovely and done i'm quite glad that we've done it in stages actually because it just makes it feel so much less of a chore so everything is done here i actually need to figure out what i'm going to put up here but i'm going to do that later on today when i can go through some of our other bits but looks really bare now doesn't it so that is our tidy with me and clean with me all the decorations are done i've also given these little shelves a wipe down so they're all tidy i've also got that reed diffuser up there so i'm gonna leave that up there it's like a festive one but so that is the end of the video guys i really hope you enjoyed watching it thank you so much for watching happy new year to you again don't forget to check out the hp printables i'll leave a link in the description box down below see you in my next video bye